It's a Thursday morning, second Illinois gun season. It's a cold one. I'm going to get up in this lock on. Just got to keep after it. Hopefully it comes together. So I'm going to get on my orange hat and my vest here. And I'm going to stroll in low key without a light because I'm going to walk through a field here. I don't want any, any donkeys to see me approaching other than hearing my noises although they can see at night pretty good so whatever hey let's go hunting again i saw this fox way out in the woods he was running down a tree that had fell a fresh blowdown, checking for squirrels and stuff i imagine i just started doing a little mouse squeak with my lips man he came right to the tree it was awesome saw three does they crossed way out there nothing following them dude the squirrels are rutting they're chasing each other all over the place heck there's one running down there bugs ain't moving dude at least not by me catch you on the next one I'm set up where me and Stink had a hunt the other day I shot this doe and I lost all the footage. <laughs> Kinda sucks, but this is where I am. A lot of acorn trees. Dude, I don't even know where to go. I'm not on a big buck or nothing. I'm gonna shoot a doe if I see her. But I got my, my musket. Got my musket hanging there. my vest off of that side because that's facing towards private property so I'm because I don't want to come on covering my pockets and stuff. Well, good quiet evening. Let's see what happens. Hey, I'm getting ready. Got Vern here. He's excited. It's going to be a windy day, second gun season. I'm getting out my grandpa's old single shot Ithaca. Check that out. Old Super X slugs. Used to shoot at open sights. It's the Super Single Ithaca. Old school cool gun, dude. I always like shooting some deer with some big old Super X slugs. Dude, let's go get set up. hillside 
a nice spot where you can just see. I haven't hunted here all season long. This used to be a, an old buffalo pasture. It's, it's a cool place, man. I like being able to hunt this spot. I guess we'll see what happens. It's gonna be windy today, up to 40 mile an hour gusts. After a while, I'm gonna get down and go stalking. Here comes some does. Let's see what happens. thought the does were going to come down the trail, but they came up this hillside. They were about 100, 120 yards into the woods, and I just didn't have a shot. There was a lot of little sticks and branches in the way, and I wasn't going to really risk anything, so they made their way up the hill. thought it was about to be on that deer that came through he passed me at like 10 yards that was a little baby spike he went up into this thicket the wind's starting to pick up i think i'm going to start creeping let's go see what we'll see what we can get into After a long stalk, I saw where five does dropped down in this little low area. I raced up there, tried to get me a shot off. It was about 80 yards. Meh. After the shot, I had went up there and looked for blood and found nothing. I'd done circles and looked for quite a ways and found absolutely nothing, so I was a little disgusted that I missed. And then this is when the story gets interesting. I just found a buckeye. In all the years I've been here, I've never seen a buckeye tree here. Check it out. I'm gonna put it in my pocket and continue my stalk. Maybe that means something. Who knows? I had circled the whole entire property and came up on the downwind side of where all the deer ran when I made the shot earlier. And after I found this buckeye, I came across the deer that I had shot. I saw her standing there and then I watched her bed down. So it was on.
after seeing the deer, I realized what happened. When I made my shot, there was some honeysuckle and some branches in the way, and I must have got deflected, and it looks like I hit her through the back leg or the gut. I got up behind this tree trying to figure out what I'm going to do next and I still didn't have a good angle on the deer. When I was seeing her laying there, she wasn't bedded down, she was actually laying down. And I didn't want to blow a hole right through her back strap because those are good to eat. So I decided to swing wide and get around and maybe get an even better angle so that way I can put her down quick and clean. I was at 15 yards and I was trying to get set up to where maybe I could make some noises or whatever I could do to make the deer roll up and look my way to expose her vitals that way I wouldn't have to blow a hole through her back straps. Nothing was working, and I think she was just pretty much out of it to where I was going to go ahead and close the distance even more and see what happens. As I approach this deer, she's fully laying down, and I just did not want to blow a hole through her straps. So I was trying some other tactics. In the heat of the action, I had the bright idea to get a log and chuck it up there by her just to see if she might roll up onto her side. And I knew a headshot was optional, but I just didn't want to try a headshot in this situation. With all the crap I had going on to pay attention to, I didn't even notice that there was another big doe bedded not 15 feet from her. And she made eye contact with me and then got out of there. And just out of habit, I raised my gun and got on her, but I wasn't going to shoot her anyways. With this deer acting the way she was acting, I really thought I could get up close to her and just get a good shot through the lungs but I had no idea what she was about to do out of nowhere she jumped up and I managed to get a shot I led her a few feet and shot and it turned out to be a hit angling through the gut up into the liver back of lungs. I saw where she went and I ran up there and I saw her bedded down again. So I got in position as quick as I could and went ahead and, and made my last shot.
I snuck up to her clothes. I didn't know what was going on. But there were there were two deer there. I did I stalked up to two deer. One was shot. What the heck? Alright guys. I got up to this doe. I I think somebody else shot her. The whole dilemma with me thinking someone else shot her is that I couldn't really believe that I hit her when she was running away from me for that second shot, which was in the guts, angling up in there. And the hind leg was my first shot because I got deflected and didn't know it. That's why there was no blood. I don't know. I'm glad I got her though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out of here and go for the cart. Let's go. All right, guys, I had, to, I had to lose the hat, dude. I'm freaking sweating. Man, I'm heading out. I'm gonna go back and get Vesper and Axel so they can, so they can come with me. Whew. Dude, can you believe that? I was trying to sneak up on that deer so I'd have a good angle at it because I didn't want to put a slug right through its back strap. Snuck up on it. Sucker took off. But I was on the trail. We got the job done. I just didn't want to ruin very much meat because I knew I was going to get her. Alright. Good hunt found that lucky buckeye I was able to get up on that doe dude that I thought I'd I thought I didn't hit her that's why I wasn't videoing nothing I was kind of pissed off but hard telling no wait a minute maybe that's when I hit her running away that could be I it was such a blur <laughs> When she was running away, I led her a little bit and I shot. I th that must be my that must be my third hole in her. Hey, good deal. Well, I'm gonna go get the kitties. You guys ready? Yep. You ready to go get my doe? Yeah. Dude. Okay. Axa, I want you to put that orange hat on, okay? I'm gonna have this vest on the pack. And uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go get the get the doe I shot. It was a rough one, but I got her, didn't I? We got her, guys, don't we? One, yeah. Two, three. Yeah. That's not the best display of shooting, but hey, I got the job done. So we're gonna we're gonna take this doe home and utilizer. It was a good hunt. I filled my gun tag. And you know what? I did it with my grandpa's old smooth bore single shot Ithaca. That was probably, let's say, uh, I'm guessing that was a 70 or 80 yard shot this morning. It's all about getting lucky. You guys ready to take care of her? Uh-huh. All right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this one here. I got all my stuff I got to take care of. I got a gutter and we're going to drag her out. So we'll catch you guys on the next hunt. Thanks for watching.